The process of ingesting content into the theater management system, is similar to how it is ingested into a media server. In this tutorial, we will explain how to ingest content, into the theater store of the TMS 2000. Additionally, we will also look at how content can be ingested, in case you are using an SCL Mark 1 or Mark 2 centralized playback server. Please take note of the time markers provided on screen. They will help you quickly scan and navigate to a specific section within this tutorial video. DCPs and KDMs can be ingested from an external storage drive, connected locally to the computer in which the TMS is installed, via the USB port, CRU drive bay, etc. Alternatively, you can ingest them from any of the local hard drives, or map network drives of the TMS computer. You can also import content into the TMS storage, from an FTP source. In order to ingest content into the TMS Theater Store, go to the File menu, and click on the Ingest DCP slash KDM option. A pop-up window will be displayed, which allows you to select the local, or FTP source for ingesting content. The local tab will be selected by default. Here, you can expand the listed drive, and browse to the folder containing the DCP or KDM that needs to be ingested. You can check the total storage capacity, and the available free space in the TMS Theater Store, on the right side of the window. In this example, we will ingest a DCP from one of the folders, within the local D drive of the TMS computer. Select the folder containing the DCP that needs to be ingested. The DMS will automatically display all the CPLs included in this DCP. All of them will be selected for import by default. You can uncheck the checkbox against the content which you do not want to ingest. Then, click on the ingest check button, to ingest the selected content into the theater store. You can also transfer content from an FTP source, such as other media servers, into the TMS Theater Store using FTP Ingest. Click on the FTP tab, to enlist the FTP sources which have been configured in the TMS. You can add a new FTP source, by clicking on the Add button. Enter the details for the FTP source, such as the name, host IP, and user credentials. Use the test option to check if the connection is successful, and then click OK. After it has been added, you can select the FTP source from the list, and click on the connect button. Once connected, the TMS will automatically list the DCPs and KDMs, stored in the FTP source. All of them will be selected for import by default. You can uncheck the checkbox against the content which you do not want to ingest. Then, click on the ingest check button, to ingest the selected content into the theater store. Additionally, you can verify whether the content from the selected FTP source is valid by selecting the Enable Verification checkbox before ingesting. If any content is invalid or has already been ingested, it will be grayed out, and you will not be able to select it for ingest. Once the ingest process has begun, you can close the import pop-up window. The selected content will continue to ingest in the background. In order to monitor the ingestion progress, Click on the ingest option under the view menu, to open the import display window. You can also access it by clicking on this icon, at the bottom right side of the TMS interface. The import display window will display the status of the content being ingested. Since we have chosen multiple content files for ingest, they are queued and ingested in a sequential manner. 
Once the ingest process is complete, the content will be categorized and listed under the DMS Theater Store, along with the other ingested content. To know more about how to manage content in the Theater Store, we would recommend that you watch the tutorial, which explains the content tab in detail. Apart from manually ingesting content into the DMS, you can also use the Content Watcher feature. This feature allows you to scan an FTP source at set intervals, and check for new DCPs and KDMs that are not yet available in the theater store. Once new DCPs and KDMs are added to this source, the DMS will automatically ingest them into the theater store. To know more about how to set up the Content Watcher feature, we would recommend that you watch the tutorial, which explains the Preferences menu in detail. If you are using an SCL Mark II server, the process of ingesting content into the DMS remains the same. However, in case of SCL Mark I servers, content ingest is not recommended when centralized playback is in progress. A password prompt will be shown, when you try to access the ingest DCP slash KDM screen, thus restricting users from initiating content ingest. This tutorial is now complete. Thank you for watching.